Not too bad, I started off pretty well and uh, you know got to semi-finals on the first event and then sort of had a few sort of up and down tournaments and uh, just sort of lost out on the place just at the end really. So a little bit, little bit disappointed uh, but then I had a sort of queue made up and sort of starting to play really well again and uh, won a few tournaments outside the GB9 so I'm quite happy with that really. So I think I'm ranked sort of 12, 14 or around that, um, around that sort of figure. So as long as I sort of keep that sort of ranking up, then I have a day off on the Friday and uh, turn up at the Saturday, you know, and the, the challenge and the Sunday event. So hopefully I sort of keep that sort of ranking around that top 32 anyway, uh, just to sort of save all that hassle on the Friday. Uh, win your first match and win as many matches as possible, I suppose. But... Uh, you know, they're all tough games, There's so many good players, but you win your first match and you're guaranteed a bit of prize money, and uh, you know, I enjoy the Sunday events. Uh, you know, wife sort of gave me permission to put a large conservatory up, which needed planning permission, but I got a nice table so I can practice when I, you know, get a chance, but with two young, you know, girls. It's very difficult because, you know, I'm working, you've got my own business removal, so, when I come back, it's sort of getting the girls to bed and my wife sort of calls me in and, you know, gets me to do a few chores and different things, read a few stories. But, you know, when I get a chance, you know, it's handy just to go in there before tournaments and leading up to it. But I don't really play, you know, a great deal, but it's nice to have that sort of luxury of a table at home to sort of, you know, play as and when, when I want to, really. Yeah, I think it was sort of seeing your website and meeting you by chance actually that got me into, you know, being sort of, you know, down the you know, South Coast yeah. way. And, uh, you know, from a snooker background, you know, you, you know, it seems quite easy at first, but then once you start playing a few good players and, you know, realising the sort of tactics and, you know, the safety side of it. Uh, but, yeah, I enjoy my snooker days, but it's, more, it's only a hobby. You know, there's no money to be made as such, you know, if you few wins and a few sort of one days and uh, but I can't see myself you know 
travelling far afield or, you know, even the Euro Tour is very expensive, what it is really. Well, just by chance, actually, I was talking to uh, Simon de Valley about Tony Drago's case, and I was just looking on the internet about different cases and leather cases custom made, and I decided to try and make one myself. Well, that's my nickname, name the Omen there, yeah. from a school day, you know, so I thought I'd use that as my poor nickname. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's, I've never done leather craft before in my life, but just looked on the internet, a few bit of a search, and, you know, found that it's just virtually a, a simple stitch with a, a needle, two needles and a piece of thread, and as long as you do the preparation markings out, it takes a bit of time. But, you know, I just thought I'd make something different, really. The final, I was very pleased, you know, to come out a winner. It was a long day, you know, uh, you know, three o'clock, quarter three in the morning it finished. Yeah. And uh, I sort of paced myself during the day, lots of Red Bulls, keep me going. Yeah, I think I was sort of four or five one down and, uh, you know, he was playing well. But then he sort of hit a few bit too hard, wobbled the pockets, so that give me a sort of a chance then to sort of get my Q arm going and uh, sort of get back into the match really and sort of square it up, sort of yeah. middle part of the match. But no, I was delighted with the win, you know, I played solid, you know, the last sort of, from the quarterfinals onwards, played really well, so I'm very delighted with it.